Hello lovelies, it is G here from Golden Thread Tarot. I am here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message is funny, blessed, and full of abundance as always. Now, as you guys can probably still tell, I am still sick. I'm trying to push through. I've been in bed for days. I, I'm just trying, I just want to, I just got to be upright for a little bit, and I want to get some, some messages out, okay? So I wanted to pull some messages about this Lion, Lionsgate portal and what kind of the energy and how it's going to affect you guys or how it's been affecting you guys. Um, so the immediate cut that I made, as soon as I pull, as soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I picked up my deck, okay, you guys, two of cups with the lovers, the king of cups, and the six, you saw it pop off the back, the six of cups, and the eight of cups. So with the end of a tough cycle approaching, okay? So I am really getting here, okay, that somebody is making a decision to walk away from a relationship that was not working and to truly follow their heart, to truly fo follow where they're being guided, where spirit is truly guiding them to go and to try to come into some kind of union, soulmate union here, okay? We're gonna pull some more information, but it's clearly, we're talking about a relationship here, okay? And we're clearly talking about a love relationship here. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So let's, okay? Emperor. So there is an emperor energy here, okay? What's going on with this Emperor Energy Spirit? What's going on? They're going on a journey. They've gotten some good news. Or they've gotten some kind of okay is what I'm hearing. <coughs> Excuse me. They've been being asked to make a decision. Okay. I think that um, they've been really hesitant to make this decision in the past. But now they have... Something is happening here. Yeah, they've finally decided they're dropping burdens. Like something has happened here that has allowed them to see things clearly is what I'm hearing. Oh, my goodness gracious. And they are rushing forward, okay? Or this information is rushing forward very quickly, causing a new beginning, a brand new beginning to happen here, okay? Okay, <laughs> What's happening with this Emperor energy here, please, Spirit? Okay. Seven of Cups. I almost said Pinnacles, but Seven of Cups. They were really confused, okay, at some point in the past is what I'm feeling. They were really confused at some point in the past about what direction to go or where or what to do. Even though they knew how they felt, right? They knew in their heart how they felt and what feelings they had for somebody, okay? They really wanted to rush forward, okay? And I feel like they did something very impulsively, and it caused a tower moment to happen here, okay? And they've been very much so kind of feeling this kind of like pain and regret and kind of, what did I do? Why did I do that kind of energy, okay? So what is this? Yeah, and they felt like they've been in a, and they've been in a, a, a period of atonement or a period of of stagnancy paying for for the sneakiness or paying for what something that they did okay so why what did okay I have so many questions <laughs> okay so what did what did they do what did they do that they that put them in this period of atonement Queen of Pentacles okay yeah Okay, thank you, Spirit. Spirit pulled some cards so that I could pull them, okay? So, what was this really quick decision that they made here? So much energy. There's so much energy here. The Strength card. They held back or they persevered and held on to something like maybe they were holding back coming forward king and queen of pentacles this person could have been married what did i say they held back they held back communication period okay they held back communication 
possibly because they were already in a another um another relationship or another arrangement or another commitment with somebody else okay with a king with a queen of pentacles here they were a king of pentacles they were a queen of pentacles so they held back and they didn't speak on the truth of how they really felt about something okay so they really wanted to work uh wanted to, to make a quick decision here and rush forward and tell you how they really felt okay or tell a person how they really felt about them but they held back they held back communication because of this. Okay, what is this tower moment here? What's the tower moment? They're single. They've been given a brand new passionate beginning. Hold up. Ace of Cups. They're ready for a brand new passionate beginning. They went through this karmic cycle here that they needed to learn. This moment of confusion. This moment of um, going back and forth with options. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Oh, that's so, so funny. Uh, do you know, like, in, in, like, old movies or old TV shows when somebody would be doing, like, the, uh, like, the super dramatic, um, like, at, like, a baseball game or something like that, and they would be like, you're out of here. Yeah, that's what I, I literally just saw somebody go, you're out of here. Wow. Sorry, I'm not trying to laugh at this person or anything like that. I'm, I'm just like, wow, that's really comical. <laughs> it's a really comical way to do that. Um, yeah, just straight up. They're out of here. <laughs> With the chariot card, the death card, and the eight of oh, wands. Yeah, doorways are opening up because things are changing because this is over. This is over with this queen of pentacles here. Whoa. Well, why did these two break up, Spirit? Why did they break up? Why did these two break up, Spirit? I'm hearing Spirit say because it was time. Knight of Cups. Because this person knew that they wanted to be with somebody else. I feel like they both knew. They both knew that this person, that this emperor. Because there were secrets. There were secrets here. It's also possible that this, you know what, it's given me energy because I did see the three of cups energy at first and I was like third parties and I was like, I don't know, I'll put it back. I'll put it back. King of Pentacles. Ooh, Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody got, somebody's pissed. Somebody's pissed, somebody's pissed, somebody's pissed. There was a huge argument that broke out here. A huge argument broke out here and something came up. Okay. So I'm going back and forth. Or maybe, maybe these people were engaged or they were like supposed to get married. And this person is like, are you going to freaking put a ring on my finger? And this person's like, no. No. King and Queen of Swords. No. Actually, I don't think I want to marry you. I don't want to be with you. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Whoa. Yeah. Not a sword. There's some anxiety. There's some fears. There's some anxieties here around ending this relationship for sure. Yeah, but Page of Swords, this came out. This might have even come out like over the phone or over oh over text message. Over the uh, like I don't know if these people were in person when this happened. I don't know. 
hermit. They were alone. Each of them were alone. Oh, wow. Wow. This is interesting. This is not what I expected. This is not what I expected for us to talk about here on this Lions Cape portal. Um, Ten of Pentacles. I'm hearing a separation of a state. The Empress. Uh, this person is just, yeah, look at that. Look at that. So this person might have had to give up money. Ten of Pentacles down to the Five of Pentacles to the mother of their children. This person could be the mother of their children. They had to. They had to give up. They had to give up something here. Justice had to get the legal system involved here in this. But. But also. It's like this person's like I don't care anymore. This emperor is like I literally don't care anymore. I I I don't care. Like, let this be over. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want it anymore. Who? Whatever. I'll put in work. I'll get the money back. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to go. I don't want to be with my empress. With my real empress. I just want to go. <coughs> King of Pentacles again. And so they felt like, yeah, they're like, look. I have been being held back from my ten, of, my ten, of, my ten of cups, my happiness, and I felt like I had to go through all this deep betrayal and all of this to go to get to this point. Now, I don't care about it anymore. I'm just ready to go. I'm ready to go on this journey. I'm ready to leave. Wow. Yeah, and it's definitely caused some some heartache. Um, but it, it has caused this person to be this nine of, of wands here, this wounded warrior, this person that's really, has really had to dig really deeply inside of them. You know, they've been really worried about separating their family or worried about leaving this person or maybe even possibly like leaving a family or leaving their family. Wow. Okay, but now I really feel like this this person is single now. Tell, tell me more about this. Um, yeah. Now, both this empress and this emperor are here willing to give the same energy back and forth with this nine. Separating themselves away from things, codependent energies that were holding them back in the, in, in the past. Ready to fulfill different karmic contracts now. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles, please. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. I had to be patient. Had to wait for things to grow. Had to wait for things to... Um, it's like they had to cultivate this over time. Like there were a lot of steps that they had to put into it. So like, again, if this person was already married, if they were divorced, they had to call out or call off they had to you know get legal representation go through court go through the divorce court system um do all of that whatever <coughs> oh, excuse me <clears throat> whatever those procedures are in their country they had to go through all of that wow this person's been planning this for a really long time and it's taken a long time to make this pass to make this finally like come to fruition here for them but they're tired of letting their past hold them back, right? Because they're realizing that nothing is going to come out of, out of them staying with this situation with this person in the past, with their past person. That they thought maybe something was over, but nothing is yet set in stone. Like, it's like, oh, I thought that getting married to this person meant that I, I was with them forever, but nothing is set in stone. I realized that I can get out, that I can get out of here, and that prosperity actually, my prosperity, my ten of cups actually lies elsewhere with somebody else. So I'm gonna be bold, step into my in, emperor masculine energy, and make the first move, and make this happen, and release, release all the negativity of this past relationship and of everything that I was just going through with this person. Same. 
mean? The energy is gaining momentum. So, yeah. <laughs> the energy of this union, of this coming together is gaining momentum. Like, things are coming to pass. Things are really being opened up. Like, truths are <laughs> okay. Action is being taken. It's time to take action. Communication is key. Being honest about what they really want and who they really want to be. <laughs> it's happening right now. Conclusions are within reach. Like, conclusions are happening here. Like, the past cycles take uh, take time to breathe out. I feel like this person feels like a sigh of relief. They're realizing that they are good enough to be in a relationship with somebody they really actually want to be with. Believe in the impossible. Like, at some point, this person thought it would be impossible for them to actually go be in a relation, like... Go be in a relationship with someone they really loved. They thought that this would never come to pass. Your commit, Their commitment was being tested. Their commitment to this journey, to this twin flame journey or to this, to this soulmate journey. This right here was really being tested. Wow. Yeah. See whether they would hold their vision to step back and look at the bigger picture of what was really going on here. It wasn't. It was time for them to release the negativity of what was happening here and then to allow a new romantic cycle to begin, right? This person really could have been very traditional. This could have been a person that really didn't believe in divorce or believed in like once you got married one time or once you had children or once you were with somebody, like that's it. Like you don't move on. You don't do that. Like you just work it out. But they are tired of hiding who they really are. They are tired. They are ready to really allow to be in a relationship, to be in a partnership, to be just to be the type of person that they want to be. Just the, just to be the type of person that they will allow themselves to be. Wow. So meditate and contemplate. This person has been meditating, contemplating, connecting with their higher self, connecting with their spirit guides, finding the confidence that they need. To break out on their own and, and make this move, make this happen, make this work for themselves. Wow. Yeah, their emotions are running high. I really feel like that's that nine of swords energy coming up again. But again, they are taking their time to breathe about it and just saying like, no, like I'm going to make this first move. Like I'm going to do this. Like I'm calling it quits. Balance uh, spirituality and practicality. Yeah. Yeah. So there's these major changes, expect a powerful change happening in their life, okay? That they're stepping up and step, stepping into their masculine energy and saying like, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to balance the, the, like the gap that I see in between spiritually what I'm being guided to be and what my life really actually looks like and what choices I'm really making every day in my life. I'm hearing somebody say, like, I preach about or I talk about being with people that you love, following your divine plan, following the path God has for you, but yet I stay in a relationship that I know is not a part of my divine plan or that I don't feel appreciated or loved or, you know, it's like this, is, these are man's rules that I'm, that I'm keeping myself tied into, not God's. Wow. Your hard work is paying off, so this person is feeling like they've been putting in a lot of hard work. They've been putting in a lot to plan this and make this happen, and then finally it's actually happening, and a new start is coming. A new start is coming for them. Wow. Yeah. Um, a time to give rather than take. I really feel like they're, they're, they're feeling like instead of, instead of just taking, taking what they're given, it's time for them to to give themselves something different that makes sense the way i said that it's, it's like instead of just taking whatever it is the universe is just kind of you know putting on them or t taking whatever it is it's just happening instead of just being a bystander in their life you know they're taking initiative they're taking the initiative in their life and realizing that their insecurities was what was holding them back and that again nothing was coming out of them staying in the stagnant relationship yeah Again, not letting their past hold them back. Wow. A fiery climax approaches. They want you to know, they, spirit wants this masculine to know that them and their loved ones are safe, that they are being guided in protection and whatever answers, whatever confusing energy they might have moving forward. Like, where do I go? Like, where, where do I go now, spirit? Like, okay, like, I'm really doing this, like. 
where do I start? Like Spirit saying, now you really get to start to live your life. Now the end of this cycle is approaching and prosperity, sorry, <laughs> and prosperity is ahead. You know? So keep following that. Again, the end of the tough cycle is approaching. A personal issue versus resolution. And the answers you need are coming once again. And then the win-win outcome is forecast. Wow. So, yeah, what's happening here? Somebody in the collective, there is an emperor here, a masculine energy here that is leaving a relationship in the past and choosing to come into union um, or choosing... To walk down the path that is going to send them into going into, you know, a soulmate union. They knew how they felt and they know how they felt this whole time. And they said, uh, forget it. Like, I'm going to make the choices that I need to make. I'm going to stand in my masculine energy and go for my empress. I'm, I'm going to get single. I'm going to do what I need to do. I really feel like this emperor has known for a while and has been making plans. It's just been keeping quiet, keeping it quiet. It's like moving, sneaking around, doing that that seven of pentacles energy. It's like not tell. It, I'm not getting necessarily like a low vibe off of that seven of pentacles energy. It's giving me. I say that, but then I find the seven of the seven of swords and it's got the devil card behind it. But it's really feeling me like fear. It's giving me like yeah, because look. The nine of swords is right in front of it. So it's this fear of what's going to happen, this fear of will they get caught, this fear of will they be able to make these plans before, before, um, you know, will they get, be, will they be able to have everything like all their ducks in a row and will somebody find out what they're doing or what plans they're making before and kind of ruin their plans is what this person was kind of worried about, I feel like. So there definitely was a masculine energy out there that's been in this sneaky energy. But they've known for a long time that they didn't want to be with their karmic anymore. And that they just kind of had to stay pretending like they were going to stay with this karmic for a while. Until they could be like, pa -plow, you know? Ugh. I had to be this wounded warrior for a little bit, getting hurt, so that I could slowly set things up for myself, you know? So maybe it's suddenly like, no, and here, and I have you know, this separate account or I don't know, I'm not trying to give their business away or anything like that, you know, but they got themselves set up for a brand new beginning. It took them a little bit of time and a little bit of, you know, they had to finagle it around and they definitely had to go through some backstabbing and they definitely had to go through some, some really messed up stuff happening here to them, but they're here now, lighter, packing light, ready to go on this brand new journey and ready ready to go towards this two of cups energy here ready to go towards the real thing ready to go towards the soulmate energy here wow towards a, i'm telling you towards a brand new beginning for themselves manifesting a brand new beginning for themselves manifesting victory for themselves manifesting whatever money they had to give up in this or whatever money or hit and, and that they had to take manifesting it you know, working its way out. Maybe, you know, they had to take some time and, uh, you know, pay for all this and get everything all set up and everything like that so that they could, um, you know, and then have everything set up for their recovery afterwards because they knew that this person was going to take like half their money or whatever the situation was, but they had to set it up right for themselves. Okay. All right. Well, that's what I have for you guys today. Um, <laughs> Uh, this wasn't at all where I was expecting this reading to go, but I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you guys as always. Like, if you like the content, give it a like. All right. If this resonates for you, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'll have more readings coming up soon. Sorry again about the sniffling and the coughing or anything like that. You know, I'm just trying to push through and get over the sickness. Um, I hope you guys are uh, healing and doing better and feeling better out there. You're pushing through everything that's happening in your life right now. Okay, good luck to everyone that's involved in this. Um, thank you guys so very much as always. I hope this brought the love, light, and clarity to your situation that you needed. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.